What's going on guys? Noah from Producer Bros here to show you my cover rendition mashup of uh, Tate McRae's You Broke Me First and NF's Let You Down. Producer Bros! Producer Bros! So with this track, I really wanted to uh, build upon the original song, make my own rendition of it, uh, also recreating the original version, so it's like a cover slash recreation. But then I also thought halfway in the middle of the song, well, the, the lyrics really fit well with that last verse of Let You Down from NF. So I kind of mashed the songs together. So it's this interesting mashup cover recreation. Uh, I really liked it, uh, really emotionally hit home with me. Uh, I really liked the song. Uh, but without any further ado, let's just jump straight, jump straight into the track. So here we are inside of Logic Pro. Um, as you can see, it's uh, broken up into a bunch of tracks. Um, I'm going to break it down one by one to show you kind of what it did. Uh, but we'll start off with uh, the first thing that kind of comes in. Uh, it's the piano here. I played a four chord progression. As you can see here, I'll bring out the MIDI notes. And uh, what I did to this, I, I used Labs, uh, Spitfire Audio Labs. It's a free plugin. Uh, it's got a lot of great samples that you can get. Uh, right now, I think I only have the piano plugin installed, but you can get a lot of different stuff from live drums to trumpets, all kinds of cool stuff. It's a free plugin. Go check it out. Again, Spitfire Audio Labs. As you can see, I started off with the channel EQ. I raised the high end because this uh, piano plugin is very uh, muddy and low. There's a lot of low stuff, but the high frequencies don't come in. So I. Uh, Increase the high end starting around the 500 area, sweeping up from 200 to 500 and picking up right there. Cut, cut out a little the high end because it's uh, very, uh, has, has a lot of white noise. And then next up, I put the compressor on there. I put it at 0 dB from the, for the auto gain and a, uh, 0 dB for the makeup gain. This puts it uh, right forefront in the mix, uh, very loud. Threshold of 2 and or sorry a threshold of negative 20 and a ratio of two this compresses it not a, a crazy ton amount but brings it up in volume uh to make sure it's where it needs to be the next up was the uh matrix reverb i use this for most of my reverb situations i set the dry wet mix to about 12 almost 13 percent and then uh use the uh small size you can see where i have it set right here and the uh, large size where it's set right here i usually keep my pre-delay low if uh anything at all and then finally an adaptive limiter to finish it off then I brought in these two uh, bass kind of sounds all right and uh, so the first one, I threw in some distortion, just to, uh, it's just a basic EP in there that I put distortion on, and I EQ'd a lot of the high end out and warmed up the low end. Then I compressed it. I uh, didn't put a whole lot of compression because I didn't want it to overpower the uh, uh, piano. And then uh, some chorus, just to make it seem a little, uh, a little more spacey. And then uh, finally some reverb to, again, add some more space to it. Then on the Ominous Dance Floor plugin, both of these are logic presets. I uh, just put a low pass filter on there. Uh, it should come on that plugin by or preset by default. And then I just EQ'd the high end out, boosted the low end. Uh, so it originally sounds something like this. But I just warmed it up. I, I hear this kind of bass in a lot of pop songs nowadays. So I just threw that in under there. And then I add this uh, trailer. Uh, effects it's a logic preset I just played this note cut a lot of the high end out boosted the lows just to make it really punch and be in your face so that that's kind of the uh, oh and then finally this uh, pad brightened up the high end compressed it Ensemble usually comes by default on this one. So does this uh, delay and the reverb. For the most part, I kept it the same, just messed with the EQ and compression. Like the next up comes the uh, vocal chain. 
and break this down. Uh, I started off with the noise gate. If you don't know what a noise gate does, is you set this threshold and anything uh, below the threshold will be cut out um, in volume. So if you have uh, any quiet spots between where you're singing, it'll cut out any background noise. You can change how quickly it uh, opens up to let things through and how quickly it closes to let things out or to cut things out. You can change how much it actually reduces, how much it stays open until it starts releasing. Uh, but it pretty much just cuts out background noise when you're not singing. Then some minor auto-tune, some EQ to brighten up the high end, cut out some of the mid muddy mid frequencies. And then uh, compression, I use the default logic compressor. Um, should be at 0 dB. And then auto gain at 0. Threshold uh, was right around neg negative 25. Uh, or the actual uh, ratio was a little over 3. 3 um, at 0.6 uh, X for OTT. This is a uh, saturation plugin, a multi-band satura sat saturator. Uh, it saturated the high end a little bit, uh, the mid-range a little bit, and then cut out a, lo a lot of the lows because there's not a lot of lows in this vocal tone. Set the depth to about 20%. Uh, usually I keep it lower, but it really helped bring out the um, the bright airiness to the vocal that I really liked. So I put up the ratio or the depth just a little bit uh, compared to what I usually do. And then I have the second track, which is uh, this. Just a lower octave. I boosted the low end uh, and so the high end because this is a, a lower octave. It helped really uh, warm up the vocal, but also make it clear. And then I compressed it. And then I threw the pitch shifter on there. And what this does is it just makes a, l uh, a little bit of a double. I didn't actually mess with the pitch uh, other than this one tiny little scent to make it actually double. And then uh, one of the doubles is only in there by like 9%. So you don't hear it a whole lot, but... Not a whole lot going on uh, with that plugin. And then on to the next one. Again, EQ out this little uh, this midsection because it gets really punchy with my voice in the environment that I record in. Again, I did the same thing, but this time I just brought the uh, uh, mix all the way up to 100% so that this one is actually a little bit delayed versus uh, the entire thing is a little bit delayed versus the main track. Maybe you would like talking too much about yourself. And uh, then on to the vocal transformer. I just brought the formant down a little bit. So it's the same octave, but it sounds deeper in tone. Just to give it a kind of synthetic vibe. And then I compressed it. You can see what I did here. Then on to the uh, sum track for the vocal chain. I EQ'd again to cut the mid out to make it less punchy and a little bit of the high end out because it was a very sharp with the vocals it helped cut out some noise too then compress the entire thing just a little bit you can see the the threshold and the ratio are very low the auto gain uh, is set to zero db but the makeup gain is negative five just so it's not super super loud and then a multi-band compressor just to compress the uh, high end uh, the mid highs and the really highs just so it's not super sharp but still bright then a little bit of reverb on top of the entire vocal chain and uh, an adaptive limiter just to keep the entire thing from clipping. And the vocal chain by itself sounds like this. Maybe you would like talking too much about yourself, but you should have told me that you were thinking about someone else. You drunk at a party or maybe it's just that your car broke down. Or your phone's been off for a couple months and you're calling me now. You can hear that I changed up the rhythm of the vocal and the melody just a little bit. Uh, something a little more personal, something that I would typically do with my vocals. Uh, I felt like rhythmically the the verse was kind of inconsistent. The rhythmic uh, rhythm kind of changing a little bit. So I changed it just a little bit to be a little more consistent and uh, less varying. I thought it sounded a little better in my opinion. It's just a personal preference. Uh, it wasn't bad by any means in the first place, but it was just a personal tweak that I, I like what I did with it. And then on to the 808. This is actually an 808 preset that I made myself from scratch. Um, you can see here it is. 
get an idea. You can screenshot this, pause, get an idea of what I did. I uh, made sure there was a little bit of distortion there and it ended up sounding like this. Oops. And then uh, I cut a lot of the high end out because if you hear um, the uh, 808 without that high cut, there's a lot of high end. So it just cuts a lot of that out. And then I uh, compressed it. So we have uh, some compression, getting it up to volume and making a lot of those warm tones really hit hard. And then an another adaptive limiter to keep it from clipping. Then into the chorus, I brought in another pad, pan to the other ear. Shouldn't be pan that far. This is just analog pad from Logic. Pretty much kept it as is, just uh, cut out some of the lows and boosted the highs, just to make it a little more bright and airy. And then I brought in this uh, Studio Tight Kit Snare from Logic Pro. I EQ'd it to get it to punch, but also be more snappy and br bright. And I cut out this low end or this mid mid range just to make it uh, a little less uh, in your face and piercing. And then uh, noise gate to make it a little more snappy. Show you without the reverb. With without the noise gate. There's a lot of noise, so this just helps it uh, be more straight to the point. Then I compressed it, which you can see here. Pause it if you need to. Then the uh, reverb, again, a uh, matrix reverb. Very low on the wet-dry mix, so it's not in your face and washing out the entire mix. A basic limiter that comes with the... Uh, snare itself which doesn't need to be there because the adaptive limiter comes right after just giving a little bit of a boost in the volume uh, in the gain and then an out ceiling again at 0 dB to keep it from, keep it from clipping and we have the chorus And in the post chorus, I brought in this uh, trance bass, added some distortion, compressed it, really boosted this low end because it just sounded like uh, it seems like a very harsh adjustment, but it, I couldn't get it to be as warm as I wanted it to after the distortion. And then uh, some chorus just to keep with the uh, chorus that I added to the ominous dance floor. Uh, some tremolo to give it the uh, uh, pulsing effect that you have there. Otherwise, it just sounds like this. So it gives it that pulsing effect on the eighth beats. And then another tremolo to kind of pan it from ear to ear just a little bit. The depth is very shallow, so there's, um, there's not a, a whole lot of panning going on. But just pans it from uh, one ear to the other, just to kind of give it a little extra depth and uh, variance. And then I EQ'd yet again, boosting some of those low tones, because I couldn't get it as warm as I wanted to. Boosted in the 2K area, just to get it to uh, bring out the distortion a little bit that I wanted, uh, and that bittiness. And then a little bit of a high cut, just to keep it from being too bright and too uh, distracting in the mix. A little bit of reverb, just to get it to uh, widen up and give it some space and then the adaptive limiter with a gain boost just to make it louder in the mix. And then brought in this hi-hat, which is just the boutique, uh, the boutique drum machine. And a uh, little bit of punch or a little bit of warmth in that hi-hat and brighten it up. And compressed it just to get it up to volume. And as you can see, I literally compress absolutely everything. So then the post chorus sounds like this. All right. 
And then I bring in the wrap from NF Slet You Down. You can hear that here. Don't talk down to me. That's not going to work now. I packed all my clothes and I moved out. I don't even want to go to your house. As you can see, I uh, decreased to right around the 1K area yet again, just to keep it from being really punchy and in your face. Compressed it. Saturated it. Little less saturation in the depth, as you can see here, but just, you, I kept the same trend with the uh, knobs here. Um, just a little bit less depth because it's a lot more aggressive. There's a lot more uh, going on in the vocal, and I didn't want it to be uh, too sharpened. Uh, and then finally, an adaptive limiter just to keep it from clipping. Basically the same thing here. Uh, I tried to add a pitch shifter there just to keep it the delay effect, but I ended up just doing a completely separate vocal take to give a double. Uh, so there are two different takes together just to make it have a doubled uh, effect and more sh uh, more depth to the take, I guess. And then uh, on the sum track, I did another noise gate here. EQ'd to subtract just up here to make it a little less sharp. Multiband compressor to compress that high end so it's not quite as sharp. And then the adaptive limiter to keep it from clipping. And that sounds like this. Don't talk down to me. That's not going to work now. I packed all my clothes and I moved out. I don't even want to go to your house. Every time I sit on that couch, I feel like you lecture me. So not too shabby. And then a little more starts coming in right here. So you can see I have this uh, riser and this crash symbol on the SoCal kit. Together sounds like this. Just to bring in this uh, post chorus, or this uh, actual chorus, sorry. One thing I didn't point out before with the vocal chain, I copied the uh, back and uh, had from the chorus just to uh, apply the ori original delay that was in the original song on those two lines, just to give those lines emphasis. Just gives it some depth uh, and in a more uh, impact with those, uh, those lines specifically. Then on this uh, kind of uh, breakdown post-chorus, I added this choir. This is high end increase, very low end cutout, save room for bass. Compress, or compressor sh should have just been uh, the same as it was by default. Uh, the tremolo, kind of panning it left to right. And then a little bit of reverb on top, actually a lot of reverb, uh, just to give it a, continue that kind of Gregorian ensemble sound. And I brought in this uh, synthesizer playing this melody. Friday Night Star, it's a Logic preset. Um, I have the chorus, uh, the delay should be the same. Compressed it a little bit and uh, limiter was the same as it came with the uh, stock preset. EQ'd to cut out a lot of the low end, a lot of the real sharp high end, and uh, make it a little brighter, a little more, uh, uh, a little less warm and more bright, and cut through the mix a little bit without being extremely sharp. And then finally, an adaptive lim adaptive limiter again to keep it from clipping. You're, you're seeing a trend with the compressor and the adaptive limiter on virtually everything in the mix. Um, and I forgot to mention this little anti gravity sound. You can't hear it too much in context of the mix. It's uh, a little more prominent here. Just a little bit to give it some depth in that transition. Um, and then, uh, what else am I missing? Pretty much everything, I think. That's basically it. So then, uh, here's the full song. Talking too much about yourself But you should have told me that you were thinking about someone else 
You're drunk at a party and maybe it's just that your car broke down Or your phone's been off of a couple months and you're calling me now I know you, you like this When stuff don't go your way, you're needing me to fix it Like me, I did But I ran out of every reason And suddenly you were asking for it back Could it tell me where you'd get the nerve? You can say you missed all that we had But I don't really care how bad it hurts Cause you broke me first Checked out. Oh, you wanna be friends now? Okay, let's put my fake face on and pretend now. Sit around and talk about the good times that didn't even happen. I mean, why are you laughing? Must have missed that joke. Let me see if I can find a reaction. No, nope, but at least you're happy. I know you, you like this. When stuff don't go your way, you need me to fix it. Like me, I did. But I ran out of And suddenly you're asking for it back Could it tell me where you'd get the nerve? You can say you missed all that we had I don't really care how bad it hurts Then suddenly you're asking for it back Could it tell me where do you get the nerve? You can say you So that was the full song. If you liked what you heard there and you want to see more of this kind of video, make sure to like, subscribe, share, and comment down below any songs you might want us to do in the future. Uh, if you are a producer yourself and you make your own music, uh, you can email us at theproducerbros at gmail.com. Again, theproducerbros at gmail.com. And we can recreate your track the same way we did this one uh, from the ground up, making it in our own way, uh, kind of what we, uh, what we think could have been done to make the song a little more impactful and uh full and we'll mix it mix and master the song uh, from the ground up we'll produce the whole thing you can do rock rap pop hip-hop whatever you uh whatever genre uh we are pretty diverse anywhere from metal to to again rap um so again you can submit your song at theproducerbros at gmail.com and we'll, we will recreate your song from the ground up tell you what you did good tell you what you could have done a little bit better from our perspective a of course, art is very subjective, so you don't have to listen to some of our recommendations, but we would love to uh, get a little more input from you guys, and uh, hopefully uh, you guys continue to watch these videos.